This is Jim Emter with Van Onnen Company, Alexandria, Minnesota, with their closing grain and livestock comments for July 28th, 2016. Corn market down four today, soybeans down seven to eight, wheat down one to four. Major news continues to be weather. When you look along the long range models here, uh, you see a little bit of heat working its way back in, but the problem is it doesn't stick around according to today's model runs. And that's why we've kind of faded back down to the negative side. We do anticipate good exports around this market, and we have seen that with private sales of both corn and beans yesterday. And beans today but the export sales just didn't give us enough to uh, really get going today for today's reports and there's anticipation we'll see more demand around but we're going to need that to try and stabilize prices as these yield forecasts continue to grow for the corn and soybeans over in the feeder cattle today down a dollar 80 live cattle down 50 to a buck 30 hog market down 282 in the fronts down to 180 in the backs and the major focus there when you look around we had a strong cattle on feed report that gave us three days of rally today we struggled to carry through as cutout values declined and we really not go, didn't get any major cash reports. So cash going to set the stage for tomorrow's cattle trade. On the hog sector, we continue to slide here in a downtrending pattern. We've taken a lot of premium out of this hog market, partly because of exports lacking in the hogs, partly because of cheap chicken prices. We've got a lot of inventory, it seems, around the freezers, and that's allowing this market to set back into a basically low type territory here uh, as we've slid nearly $15 here on this hog board. Um, stability I think we're close to those areas where we should stabilize here, uh, but the ability to rally is going to be dictative off seeing lower slaughter numbers, which we typically do not see this time of year, or some export market working back in. This has been Jim Emter, Van Onnen Company, Alexandria, Minnesota. Trading in futures and options involves risk of loss and is not suitable for all producers. Past performance is not indicative of future results. This is a solicitation.